Minister Nirmala Sitaraman on Saturday announced a new scheme, remission of duties or taxes on export product to incentivize exporters at an estimated cost of Rs 50,000 crore to the exchequer. The announcement comes in the backdrop of India's merchandise exports declining by 6.5% to 26.13 billion in August compared to the year ago month. The minister also said there will be fully automatic electronic refund route for input tax credits in GST. This will be implemented by month end. The move, she added, is aimed at quick and automatic refund of ITC. She said RODTP will replace the existing incentive schemes and will more than adequately incentivize exporters than the existing schemes put together. The minister said the revenue foregone towards the scheme is projected at Rs 50,000 crore. PSL norms for export credit has been examined and enabling guidelines are under consideration of the Reserve Bank of India, she said. Nirmala added, this will release an additional Rs 36,000 crore to 68,000 crore as export credit under priority sector, as told to the reporters. Finance Minister Nirmala also announced that Free Trade Agreement Utilization Mission would be set to help exporters automatically utilize the concessional traffics under trade packs which India has signed with several countries. Finance Minister added inflation is under control and there is clear sign to revival of industrial production and she added inflation has kept very much below 4%. The government has mandated the Reserve Bank of India to keep the retail inflation in band of 2 to 6%. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has also announced of Rs 10,000 crore special window to provide last mile funding for completion on ongoing housing projects which are not NPAs or facing bankruptcy proceedings under NCLT. Announcing the measure, Nirmala added the government will contribute Rs 10,000 crore for the special window and roughly the same amount is expected from outside investors. <coughs> Meanwhile, external commercial borrowing guidelines will also be relaxed to help housing developers obtain overseas fund. ECB guidelines will be relaxed to facilitate financing of home buyers who are eligible. Bureau Report, Konark Live.